Welcome back everyone to some more Metal Gear Solid. This is absolutely going to be the finale. It's going to be a long one because we got to deal with Liquid, who for some reason, yeah, is just walking around shirtless, topless. I mean, if I had a body like his or Snake's, I think I probably would too, to be fair. But um, yeah, he's being upstaged a little bit by Rex, I've got to say. Rex, you just... Oh my god. We're gonna have a quick chat with people, see if they have anything to say. Obviously, we had the big reveal last time that Liquid was the master all along. Master Miller uh, has been dead for several days, and I just- I'm so glad that so many of you seem to be surprised by that twist as well. Just like I was back in the day. I think it's just so well done. And again, the fact that they hinted it several times throughout the game, you, you replay the game for the second time and you, you pick up on so many things. And I think that's just the sign of a great twist. I really, I really think it's so well done. And just the reveal is is, is wonderful, the build up to it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we just escaped from the gas, so people are going to be like, go after liquid. They're probably not going to say much. Snake, what are you doing? Go after liquid. Okay, I guess. I guess I have to. What are you doing? The door is open, Snake. Hurry up and go after liquid. All right. Yep. There's no uh, no getting out of this one, Snake. We got to confront Liquid for the uh, maybe the final time. Who knows? Now we've got a lot of cutscenes coming up, and uh, the hardest boss fight in the game by far, which it should be because you might guess we might be taking on Metal Gear itself. Oh man, I'm really nervous though. Th this fight is blood, it kicks my ass every time. I've never fully mastered this fight. So, also, a funny little detail, I don't know if he's gonna do it or if he has done and I've not been paying attention. If you watch Liquid, facts, if we get our scope out, if we get our scope out and we zoom in, I mean, he is ripped. Dude. Yeah, if, if I had a body that <laughs> that freaking chiseled I th and, and hench, I think I'd just... Yeah, I don't think I'd ever wear any clothes. Um, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Any time now? Come on, Liquid. But I, I know you do something. Come on. Liquid! Bloody do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, he's not doing it. He'll, like, slap his face to, like, psych himself up. It's really... It's such a cool little detail that you can completely miss. And we are apparently going to bloody miss it because he's not doing it. Son of a bitch. Right. Let's go confront Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? Oh, I love that line. You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox die. It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox die's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. 
Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah! Snake! Your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon! Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother! Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. Oh, I can see that snake. Oh, boy. How do I stop it? Very good question. It ain't easy. This thing is tough, and it should be. It's Metal Gear. Oh, I'm so nervous. This fight is bloody hard. Oh, and how intimidating is this? I mean, just look at the scale of it compared to us. And yeah, freaking uh, Snake and Liquid are indeed brothers. But not the usual kind. More of that will be gone into later. We are snakes not made by nature, put it that way, just like Raven said. Oh boy, here we go, right, look at the size of this thing. So I know how to defeat it, well, I say that, I, I do struggle. I think chaff grenades do help, but um, we're gonna have a chat with everyone, of course, as we usually do. God help us, Metal Gear is moving. Snake, it's all riding on you now. Got to stop that thing. But how? You'll have to ask Dr. Emmerich, the guy who made it. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we will. Articon, please, please give us some ideas. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high performance heat round. Damn. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radar. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. <laughs> it looks like a bee is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. 
Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right! If you can shoot a Stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. <laughs> People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. <laughs> I love how he justifies that, because it's such a video game thing, isn't it? A boss always has to have some sort of weak point, and they work it into the story somehow. It's just great. Let's have a see if Nastasha has anything to say. Yeah, so chaff grenades will help. It has several attacks that no doubt we're going to see. Um, let's call Master. Aw, oh, Liquid, you don't want to chat with your bro? Aw, oh, damn it. Right. Let's get the stinger out first of all. See if we can get a first shot off. Oh, wait. oh god, it's so... Oh, it's terrifying. And yes, it yells. It, it roars like a dinosaur for some reason. And the machine guns. So, it has the machine guns, which we've just seen. It will fire missiles at us, which I never seem to be able to avoid. I'm gonna throw a chaff. Here they come, here they come. Oh, I tell you what, I did dodge them. And uh, if you get too close, its little, uh, <laughs> its little penis will fire a laser. So, and also it will try and stomp on you. I forget if it has any other attacks, but... Um, Oh, I'll tell you what, we got quite... Yeah, so the chaff grenade disrupts its missiles targeting. Which is very, very useful. Let's use another chaff. Um, and... That's not going to hit it, is it? Oh my god, it did! We are doing very... Wow, you know what? Chaff grenades are making this a lot easier than it usually is. Maybe... Do I never bother using chaff grenades? If so, I'm a bloody idiot. Yeah, the missiles are completely, uh... Oh, God. Completely useless. Oh, there's that laser! Right, come on. There we go. This is going quite well. This is actually going very well. Another chaff. Oh, shit! Yeah, I knew that was gonna bloody hit me. Do I have my body armor on? Why am I not wearing my body armor? I swear he equips that. This is just epic though, I mean, fighting a freaking Metal Gear dude. Whoa. Tell you what, I still might get unlucky with um, the targeting on the missiles. Still got plenty of chaff. Oh, I think that might get us if I stop running here. No, we're good, we're good. One more hit. Should do it. Ah, oh, two more hits, really? Oh god, the missiles, the missiles, the missiles, the missiles. So if you run towards it, I think that actually does a pretty good job of avoiding them. There we go. First phase done. That actually went very well. This might be my favorite cutscene in the game, actually. Very well might be. Oh, look who it is! Nice gun. I want that gun. Fox, why? 
What do you want from me? I am a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi? You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. Oof. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. But on the outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister. But every time I looked at her, I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! Oh. We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving! Fox! Oh shit. Oh, that looks painful. Fire it. I can't do it. I was taken from the battle. Neither Julie alive nor Julie dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon, it will finally end. It's no good. I can't do it. Gets me every time. Foolish man. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! Oh boy, Fox. Oh shit. Right, we're back. Phase two. Now I don't think the chaff grenades are going to do shit now. Um, I don't know. If oh god. Oh, don't get. Don't get stomped. That's like real, real bad. Okay, we got a, we got a hit on. Let's have a quick. Ch oh, the missiles are coming. Let's have a quick chat with people. Ah, oh, I'm telling you, Gray Fox, that that death. Re that was the, probably the first video game death that I remember like really getting to me. Just that whole scene and, and so many great lines. A cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. Oh, but he's no more. Colonel, Fox is dead. I know. God rest his soul. Even a soldier. 
Hunter needs more to live for than just fighting. Maybe if he'd found something else, he wouldn't have been so haunted. He was too simple. Too pure. There was nothing in this world for him to believe in. So he chose to believe only in himself. I guess you're right. A man like Fox is really only looking for his death. Yeah. But if you ask me, there's no happiness to be gained in death. No peace either. I'm gonna leave here alive. Yes. Lord, I want that too. Oh, and the this the speech he gives the snake just as he's about to die. That's very important. That that will stick with Snake for the rest of his goddamn life. Uh Otacon, anything? I saw it in President Baker's top secret files. Rex has a free electron laser mounted on its belly. It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant magnets. Magnets, can bitch! An incredible amount of energy. Pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. Damn. So yeah, he just ex explains the dick laser. Okay. Oh, shit. Those missiles, man. I keep aiming for the radon. I keep forgetting we've destroyed we've destroyed that. That's missed. That's not missed. Ooh, how am I avoiding these missiles, man? How am I avoiding these missiles? Oh, not that time. Right, we better, we better use a ration just to be safe. There are various bits and pieces you can, uh... You can pick up around here. But we don't need it. I think we're, we're probably pretty good. Oh, God, don't, don't stamp on... Oh, I thought he was a lot closer than he was. Oh, the laser got me. One more hit, though. One more hit. Oh, look at his health. Are you kidding me? Absolute bollocks, mate. Absolute bollocks. Liquid. Eat it. How did that miss? Dude, are you kidding me? There we go. Oh, I <laughs> just got hit. I nearly died at the end there. I'll crush you into dust. I love that Rex. I love that they make Rex emit dinosaur noises. It's completely pointless. Like, why would you give that? Well, I, I guess psychological warfare is a thing. And oh dear. Oh dear. But Liquid's gotta be dead, right? No. No, he is not. Another classic trope of uh, 90s action movies, so the, the villain, he takes a battering, and yet always seems to come back. Right, we got a lot of cutscenes coming, chaps. A lot. Sleeping as usual. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. 
After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? So that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning, and the super baby method. Super baby method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born! But... You and I aren't his only children. What? The Genome Soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the Genome Soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. Sorry, Dennis. The genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! The heck are nucleotides? There's so much jargon here I don't understand still. 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder. 
than chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Plus they can only see like six feet in front of them. Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first... I will kill you. Oh, bring it, Liquid. Look behind you. <gasps> Meryl! Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die? No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. 
Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Oh. Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Bastard. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Mm. Great, another time limit. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. God, I'd have to work really quick on that one. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Okay, Liquid, time's going. Come on. Have at you, Snake. Right, this fight. Okay, we, we do have a time limit. And it's bullshit that for this first, if you know, for the first attempt, you basically only have 2 minutes 30. But if you die and restart it, you do get the full 3 minutes, which is probably again gonna happen. I also struggle with this fight quite a lot. Uh, Campbell has been arrested, the place is gonna be bombed, and Liquid is gonna pre-bomb it <laughs> if we don't beat him in time as well. Great. Uh, does anyone have anything to say? Yeah, and th this is about as personal as it gets. Mano a mano, fist fight on top of a destroyed Metal Gear. It's so freaking epic. Uh, Nastasha, probably don't have any advice for me either. Snake, it is just you and Liquid now. There is no advice I can give you. Trust yourself. You have got to win. Thanks. Yeah, this this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Uh, I don't know if Mailing's gonna say anything. 
No, oh, okay. Um, uh, well, I think the game auto saves anyway, but I'll save just for the lols. Create a new file. But yeah, this is, uh, this is just such a great final showdown. But it's, it's quite a tough fight. Liquid is no slouch. So, it's just a fist fight. We just gotta... Just gotta punch him. Oof. But he, he does, he takes, um... He takes quite... Quite a pound in. But he, and, and again, he will... He can knock you off. Which is instant game over, and... So how much damage he just did? Oh crap! Oh crap! Yeah, I, I do. I kind of, dude. I s Shut up! Stop moving! You dick! Oh crud! Yeah, I'm not gonna do it first try, chaps. You know what I said? Metal Gear is the hardest fight. This might actually be the hardest fight, come to think of it. Bollocks. I am sucking. I think you can kind of stun lock him a little bit, if you're really good. There we go. Yeah, so don't commit to the, uh, to the full combo. Probably better off. That sidekick. Okay, there we go, there we go. Thanks. No, no. <laughs> These sounds, man. Oh, that freaking headbutt charge. I knew that was coming. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting a bit more aggressive now. Oh, crap. You can't... You don't get any rations here, either. This is... This is a hard fight, man. And we die. There we go. This is... This is... I mean, we were nowhere near getting his health down, either. Oh, Mei Ling, I know, I'm sorry. Right, let's try again. This time we'll have a bit more time, though. Have at you, snake. Have at you, snake. Oh, for the love of God. For the love of God. Don't laugh. It's not funny, Liquid. It was supposed to be the inferior one. Nope. He's enjoying this though, isn't he? He's been waiting a long time. Ah, oh, I knew I knew I set myself up for failure there. What's wrong? Is you're a dick. Alright, just wait, just wait. Wait. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Is he gonna do the charge? No, he's not, do he's not doing the charge yet. Woo. Woo. Okay, okay. Okay, you're gonna do the charge? He's trying- he's, he's in- he's in a- he's in some sort of- I was nowhere fucking near you, mate! Oh, God. I mean, let's be honest. This is this is not this is not a fighting game. This is not where its strengths lie. Okay, 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 okay. You're gonna do the charge at some point. There you go. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. Okay. It's actually a little bit easier to to deal with in this phase because he does a bit more. He just stands still. He doesn't dodge as much. We've nearly got him. We've nearly got him. Oh, I tell you what, I didn't think we'd actually hit him there. Right, come on, do you do your charge? Always, oh, he's, he's trying to come in for the for the kick. I can see him. Oh, what? Bullshit. Oh no! No no no! Please please please! Okay. Oh, there we go. Just stamp on his hands, Snake. Oh, 
no, dude, we were so close. Ah. It's a shame Liquid doesn't laugh at you during the game over screen. I'm sure he does it in one of the game overs. Right, there we go. First blood. First blood. Oh, that was a good combo. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> the noise. Ooh, just got lucky there. Very lucky there. Ah, oh, no, dude. No way you reached me with that. No way. Ooh. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is it again. It's going alright. It's going alright. Oh shit! Shit! Run, snake! Oh no! Didn't think you'd be doing it that soon. Oh, extra kick in the tits there. There we go. He's just he is quite hard to. Oh, that was close. Alright, he's gonna charge, he's gonna charge. No, he's gonna do the kick. Or the punch. Okay, one minute thirty. Bullshit! Right, oh, he knocked him down! I wish I wish I could get up like that, that's pretty cool. Right, he's gonna he's gonna do the charge, he's gonna do the charge. He's not doing the charge. Bullshit! Oh my god. I'll tell you what, we nearly we nearly bet the dust there, snake, right. Gotta be careful here. No, 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 please, please, please. I just need like a good few combos left. Oh I nearly I think I need, it's a shame you can't actually knock him off. Shit. Right, come on. Are you fucking kidding me, Liquid? Bullshit, I totally dodged that, guys. I totally dodged that. Wow, we're getting, we're getting all the game overs at the very end here. This sucks. This sucks. Yeah, if, if you can do it where you just punch him, it's actually a lot easier to kind of stunlock him a little bit. Oh, fuck you. Oh, bollocks. I'm, I'm, I'm getting sloppy now. I'm getting sloppy. Alright, okay, we're pulling this back. We're pulling this back. Shit! He just baits you. He freaking baits you. Alright, you're not gonna do the. Snake. Be a bit quicker. Be a bit quicker. Alright, okay, okay, okay. He's gonna do the charge. Fuck! I know! Shit! Shit! Right, charge at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Literally. You're my bro. Come at me. No? I'll oh, fancy it. Okay. Come on, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. See, I can't, I can't afford to just let you stand there, Liquid. We're gonna die. Oh. Bullshit! Like, that combo should've got him there, really. It's just about perfect placement, and it's so difficult. It's so difficult to get it absolutely perfect. Ooh, we both whiffed. We both whiffed. Oh, shit! Get up, snake! What's a feat? Okay, okay, okay. Yep, knew that was coming. Got a minute left. Oh. No! That counter he does is ridiculous. Oh, you fuck! I couldn't even... Oh, this is bullshit! Dude, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> I hate this fight, man. It's great thematically. Mechanically... It's bloody hard. Right, let's just be... Let's be smart about this. There we go. Okay. 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 Alright, he's gonna dodge. Yep, and I still fell for it. Okay, okay, okay. Nice shot! Thanks. Yeah, when he's in that stance, he seems to be quite 
Ooh, shit. Punishable. All right, he's going to do the charge. He's going to do the charge. No, he's going to do the... going to do the kick. Shit. Tell you what, that was close. How did I miss him, then? All right, come on. He's going to charge. He's going to charge. No. Bollocks! See, I don't know why sometimes Snake whiffs with his, uh... With his combos. He's gonna charge, he's gonna charge. Okay, okay, okay. We're in control, we're in control, we're in control. No! I wish he could charge off the edge. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Alright, we, we're, in, we're in control, we're in control. I'll tell you what, that was way too good. Right, he's gonna charge, he's gonna charge. Whoa! <laughs> right, we shouldn't fuck this up now. Whoa, didn't quite get a good connection there, but. Fuck! Okay, at least I didn't get hit by him. That's not taking damage. That's fine. We got a minute. We got a minute. Come on. Okay. Okay. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. There he goes. Come on. Just a few more hits. A few more hits. What? I was nowhere fucking near him! Yes! Oh. I tell you, no one screams snake like Liquid does. Bloody hell. That was... <laughs> that is a tough fight. Meryl. She's alive! Snake, is that you? Snake, oh, you're alive! Thank God! Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, it must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope... kept me alive. Snake... I wanted... to see you again. Meryl... That's my Kodak. Oh, interrupting the, the nice reunion. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. Yeah. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. 
I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Aw. What a great moment. What a great moment. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? Otakon? He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Damn, that was a leap. Snake. No. Oh, we got we got no time for this. We are about to be bombed. Started. I must be heavy. Ah. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. <laughs> Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Yeah, because that tank top will really keep you warm. Hurry up. Hurry. Oh, she found a vest. Ah, there we go. Good snake. Damn right, I look good. Right, we gotta get out of here. We've gotta escape. We're nearly there, chaps. Nearly there. Hurry. So there is a bit of a time limit coming up. Uh in fact, yeah, there it is. It isn't actually that important. Uh you'll see why. Oh, ration good. Uh, but we still gotta get out of here. I I now I love Metal Gear Solid, I really do, but I do feel the Meryl Snake relationship is a little bit not forced, but just a little bit maybe over the top in the ending here. The, the very lovey-dovey, and I, I don't know, it's, it, it seems a little bit jarring. It always has, but it's fine. It's the end. Let's go. I'll drive. Damn, surveillance camera. <laughs> Freaking surveillance camera. God damn it. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so... Meryl is going to be uh, trying to find the freaking keys to a jeep, and I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting wrecked here. Oh god. No body armor either. It sucks to be me. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, this thing. We got it. We got a gun on the back of this thing. And, oh my god, it is so hard to use. I've already got to use the ration already. That's insane. All right, blow up the barrels. Blow up the barrels. Let's go. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> All two for one deal. Right. This is very action packed. But it's so fitting for the ending. You know, go, going out in style. But, uh, yeah, that, that time limit is, is not really relevant. It just. Adds to the urgency. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure if there's like a better way of controlling this gun. Because it's just a bit awkward. I really don't know if there's a, a better way of doing it. I always kind of suck at this bit as well, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, my health is not looking great, actually. We might. We're probably going to die on this bit. Because these guys take several bullets to bloody kill. I'm trying. 
Oh, I am gonna die. It's really, really difficult. Alright, that, that other guy over there doesn't seem to be able to hit me, which is great. Okay. I did! Go, go, go! You could have just driven through them, Meryl. Yep. I am so, I'm so dead. Oh. Oh. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. That's another line that gets re reused in the series a lot, but no one says it better than the liquid. So now we just gotta. He, he does. He ducks to avoid your uh, machine gun fire, but he does end up. He does drive into it quite a lot as well. Like liquid. What are you made of, dude? Oh shit. Look how cinematic this is. It's insane. I'm not sure how we... Oh! Yeah, I'm so dead. I'm so... Oh, first person! I do remember this actually. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, Meryl, you're gonna have to escape without me. Oh, the way we just dropped down. Yep. God, I'm, so, I'm really bad at the ending of this game, aren't I? Right, let's see if I can uh, do a better job of this. Oh god, we're all the way back here as well. Right. Ration here. Is there another ration we can get back this way? There is! I forgot about that. And I'm not sure if there's one possibly in... This room as well. I might just, instead of dealing with the guards, I think I'm just gonna run around and see if I can find anything. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Don't shoot me. Shoot Meryl instead. Take her. She's the one you want. Yes, rations. Get in. Get in. All right, that went a lot better. That went a lot better. Let's. Ow! Boom. Right, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Right. We'll see, we'll see if first person makes this any easier. Infinite ammo, baby! It's just a shit. It's just awkward because you have to hold basically triangle and square at the same time. Which um, is not comfortable in any... Any stretch of the imagination. Plot the barrels. Shit. We'll never make it. Not with that attitude. Okay, Snake, let's go. Right. Okay, that went very well. We're doing much, much better. Can I call this? You know what? I don't know if I've ever bothered trying to call people during this. No response. Articon's busy. Fair enough. Uh, Nastasha. Nope, no one's no one wants to talk to me. Fine. I understand. Ugh. We'll never make it. I'm Stay, really okay. trying my best here, Meryl. Really trying my best here. Yeah, you know what? This is actually way easier in first person. I never knew this as a kid. I never thought you could do this. Right, let's get the rations equipped, so we should be, we should be much, yeah, we should be in a much better position now. Look behind you, Snake. It's not over yet. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Oh, <laughs> oh he's such a good villain. Stay still. So I don't I don't know if you actually have to do like a certain amount of damage to him. I think you just gotta just gotta survive. Obviously shooting him stops him from shooting you uh, you, so it's good. Yeah, I'm not sure how we can we can really do much about that. But he's still got a hit on me. Bastard. There we go. Stay back. Get back, you bastard. 
Get back, you bastard! Break your legs. Come on. I imagine this is bloody hard on, on hard mode or extreme. Dun, 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 dun. Really cool bit's about to come up. Really cinematic in a second. Here it comes. Yeah, look at that. Just the, the whooshing noises of the pillars as they go by. It's great, although you really fucking hard to hit. Like, how cinematic is this? It's great! Well, I'm trying to get ahead of us, are you, Liquid? Eh? How did you survive that fall anyway? You said I wouldn't survive. We did it. We did it. We've just beaten the game, guys. We've just beaten the game. Let's enjoy the ending cutscenes. He's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake... I'm not a colonel. Huh. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. 
I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake.
Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. Very soppy, very corny, but I love it. And uh, yeah, very philosophical with all the Naomi stuff. But there we go, that is the end of Metal Gear Solid Chaps. We're going to enjoy the credits. Uh, hopefully the music isn't going to be copyrighted or anything, because it's beautiful. These credits, man, oh. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to one million times that of the Hiroshima A-bomb. 1993, start two assigned. The United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to 3,000. As of 1998, there still exists 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. I have no idea how many there are now, but obviously they're still very much uh, a thing. Which is terrifying. Man, Metal Gear Solid. Let's enjoy the credits. And, uh, what, what, I mean, incredible. Incredible. Th this game has such a, it's got, m like, a message to it, you know? It, it, it's so deep for a PlayStation 1 game. Ah. <sighs> It has its flaws. It definitely has its flaws, and it's not aged well in certain aspects. But I, I can still play this in, in 2023 and think, wow. What a phenomenal piece of work. I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough, chaps. And uh, yeah, especially those who... This was uh, the first Metal Gear experience. It's, it's... Yeah, it's something I wish I could experience again for the first time. I... Oh, I just love it. I bloody love Metal Gear, and, and this one is, is to this day, my favorite. But yeah, these these credits, I've seen these so many times over the years, and uh, always gets me a little bit, a little bit emotional, I must admit. Especially, yeah, this music is hauntingly beautiful. I believe it's, um, I'm sure it's Gaelic or something. Phenomenal. Phenomenal game. And yeah, we get this like stock footage of uh, Alaska as well, which has always made me want to go. Looks beautiful. Oh my god. Polar bear!
Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh my gosh. Lost track of how many times this is <laughs> giving me goosebumps. I really hope I don't have to mute this, because it's, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, really, really hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1. I, I forget how many times I've actually done this game on the channel, but it's been way too long since I last did it properly, and, uh, oh, it's gone on standby. Uh, yeah, what did you think, chaps? I'd love to know. I, um, I, I may end up redoing 2 and 3 again at some point in the future. Uh, but I would also, if if they bring out Metal Gear Solid 4 in in the next Master Collection, whenever that's going to be, I'm definitely going to do that at some point as well. But really, you know, I I, I got to thank everyone for watching these videos because it, it definitely isn't the most popular of games for for my channel. Uh, but it's a series that I just love more than more than most. So I I, ha I have to I have to play Metal Gear. I have to do it. I love this music, man. This music is so good. But yeah, very, um, very happy ending. Quite, <clears throat> I don't know, again, quite, quite corny and soppy at times. Very, a bit melodramatic, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I do love it. I do love it. There's definitely a reason to, to watch through the credits, not only to see your rank, but um, there's going to be something at the end as well, which is very interesting. Bit of a, an end credit scene, if you will, before Marvel started doing them. Metal Gear. <laughs> I'm sure other things did it before Metal Gear, but... Oh, it's, I'm kind of gutted it's finished, to be honest. I can always replay this whenever I want, and I'm so glad more people can play this now. Even if these ports aren't the best, I, I would like to have an option to have the, the visual smoothed out a little bit, like you can with emulation, but it's still very playable, and yeah, I, I hope more people have discovered this series through this collection. fucking love this game. Thank you, Hideo Kojima. Thank you, everyone who worked on this. Incredible. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. <laughs> what an ending, dude. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Shit. Ocelot. Damn. Oh, we got codename Leopard. 
Hey, that sounds pretty good. And uh, we get the Infinity uh, Ammo Bandana. We get the camera straight from the get-go in the next playthrough. If you play through two times, on the third playthrough, Snake wears like a tuxedo, which is really cool. And also, if you submitted in the torture at the ending cutscene, Otacon is, is with you in the jeep and uh, goes off into sunset with Snake, which is quite humorous. And uh, you got Hal and Dave, which is totally a reference to 2001 Space Odyssey. Anyway, we... Um, we were found eight times, we continued seven times, most of them in the final bloody boss fight. Saved 12 times, 20, 24 rations used, that's a lot of rations. That is actually, I didn't think we used that many. There we go. And uh, we will save our complete mission data. Thank you everyone for watching Metal Gear Solid. I really do, again, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Let me know in the comments. And, uh, oh, there we go decks out. I think that's, yeah, get, getting the bandana. Lots of juicy achievement points. Game of score. Love it. And that is it. We are done with Metal Gear Solid. My joint favorite game of all time. Thank you everyone again. I'll see you in whatever you watch next. Bye bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.